What's going on guys? I hope you all have a really good day. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys a little unboxing, unbagging video. I went to Bass Pro yesterday with a buddy of mine. And Bass Pro has a huge uh, spring uh, fishing sale. So we went off on buying tackle. I bought a few things. Let me show you right now what I bought. So I bought some plastics, some zoom uh, grubs, salt and pepper color, a uh, good color for clear water. Got some uh, Rage Menace with Striking, you guys know I like Striking products. We got the black and blue, um, the baby is uh, green pumpkin, and so we got some uh, 4 inch on some summer crawl. Those are my plastics I'm going to be using for my swim uh, jig trailers. I did go ahead and buy some Whopper Ploppers. Uh, the concept I'm going here is with uh, white and black. It's most of the colors I want to concentrate with because in sunny days I want to be using the white. The bass only see the belly, they don't see the top. I'm not really worried about what color is up here. But again, on cloudy, overcast days, black one, you know, black belly. Same thing with the whopper plopper. The loon color and the bone, which is similar to a white. So these are the, the lures I picked up. Now the main purpose of this video, you guys can tell by the title, is because of the new reel I purchased. I purchased the new Shimano Corrado K. Now get ready for some cinematic uh, video going on here, but check this out. This is the Shimano Corrado K. The hype online for this reel has been huge. I had to buy one and find out if it's really as good as everybody's talking about. Did Shimano just make the next best thing? Is this the best reel money can buy? I'm going to put it on my frogging rod, spool it with 65 pound braid, and find out. Alright guys, so I got this Shimano Corrado K paired up with an Abu Garcia Veritas. This is going to be my frogging, frogging setup for the year. Got it freshly spooled up with 65 pound braid. I got a little half ounce casting plug at the end. Just a plug to practice casting. Just gonna do a few casts over here. The casting feels really good, really smooth. I got that fast retrieve, 8.5 to 1. So I get the, uh, in this case, the plug back to me really fast. I'm putting no effort into the cast. And I'm getting maybe about 100 feet. So I, I, I feel like the, the rod and the reel complement each other really good. I obviously not doing a real like distance test because, well, I got that fence in front of me. Now if we pitch it, it feels really good. Get into that garden, which is my neighbor's garden actually. About 30 feet away from me. So I'm, I'm gonna be really happy with the setup here during the summer. Obviously I think if you if you pair this reel up with a Corrado rod, it's probably they probably complement each other a lot better. Who knows? Might be a rod I might pick up later on. But uh, for now, this this Abu Veritas will do the job. Okay, now, so I know obviously you can't compare using the reel here, you know, in the grass field compared to like the water. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. If you guys wanna see a review video a year from now, maybe not a year from now, when fishing season, when bass season ends here in Ontario, like October, November, if you guys want me to do a review video of like eight months later after having the reel, using the reel for a whole season, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you guys. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.